Anyways, so today guys, two new boxes, second video on the channel. It's got this knife in the last unboxing video, Smith & Wesson knife, the M&P. So far I've used it to cut up a bunch of boxes and that's about it, so it's gonna need a nice little sharpen. In this video we're gonna be going over the best GoPro fishing setup that you can get, along with the unboxing of the GoPro Hero 6 and the few accessories that I bought and I'll explain why I bought them. So uh, first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and just get right into this video. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting open this new box. Pretty excited about this one. So I can start getting these fishing videos on the road since uh, opening day is going to be here soon for trout and uh, I don't know what happened there. So in here, what is this? Oh, this is our charger. So let's do that first, get the small one out of the way. So we got a charger here. Um, the packaging is a little bit uh, messed up here, but what are you going to do, I guess, right? So let's check it out and just see if it's uh, good quality or not. comes with this little sleeve, which is a little strange, I guess, but still kind of useful because I could always hang this from my bag or something. If I don't have a cord that will reach my, uh, reach my bag. It's actually metal, I think? It feels like it's metal. So this is like a $15 one. It's by... Get the, get, get it, get, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, I have no idea how to say it, but, um, so we're gonna have to charge this, oh boy, is that a flashlight? I think it has a flashlight on it, how do I turn it off? Wait, does that always turn, what the, alright, anyway, so this is just like a, I think it's 15, oh wait, it's on right now, turn that off, how do I turn it off, hold it? Do I just hold it? The flashlight's back on. Oh. So, uh, the point of this is it's like, I want to say it's like 15,000 milliamps of, uh, of power or something like that. And it'll basically charge the GoPro for like, like eight, tra eight times charges. So it comes with a flashlight, like built in, and then it has this external flashlight which can plug into it. Which, oh my god. As soon as you plug something in, it turns on. That thing is bright as hell. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I just don't need that, but I guess thanks for thinking of me and putting it in there. On to the meat and potatoes, let's go. So we're gonna open this one up now. Like I said my blade's a little bit dull because I've been cutting literal box, like a 65 inch TV box and the styrofoam and all that kind of stuff from it. All right, let's go ahead and put our knife away so I don't cut myself any, uh, any more. Just kidding, I haven't cut myself yet. All right, so first things first. There's three things in this box. I'm gonna go ahead and just break it down. Let me put this in. First thing we got is a Samsung 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD. Uh, I got this one because it was on sale, but um, it is good because it has a read speed of 100 megabytes per second and a write speed of 90 megabytes per second, which would be more than enough for a GoPro, obviously. Um, so, and it also comes with the SD adapter, which is pretty good. Um, speaking of the SD adapter, aha, I knew I was forgetting something. My card reader that I had, this is opened. I don't know what's happening. Well, now it's open. Look, I just ripped it right in half. Too, I'm too strong for my own good. So, I needed a new card reader. So they had a deal with this one where you could get it for like 28 bucks or something. How do you get this? Boom, it actually looks pretty good. <sighs> That's on there tight. Anyway, so it's just that USB 3, so it'll be even faster than like I had a 2 before. So it was kind of worth me grabbing for like an extra like 5 bucks or something like that um, so that I could get a new card reader. And then, yeah, so these two will go together. Obviously, micro SD card is a requirement for uh, for doing this. So next up is the chesty. Um, now this isn't gonna be the ultimate fishing setup because there's a way to do it better, which I'll show in a future video. But currently all the uh, all the adapters to do it are on back order, so I'm kind of in a waiting phase. So we got the chesty chest mount piece here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Just trying to get everything out of the box and have them all right here. All right, so first thing we see in the box here when we unbox the chesty is down here at the bottom. You'll see we got a few different attachments, uh, one being the, uh, let's see here. one being just a little screw, 
And then over here on the right, we just have the basic like slide-in attachment where this will screw in your GoPro. If, anyone's used, if you've never used a GoPro, then you probably won't understand what we're talking about, but you use these to mount them. Um, and then just basic packaging with what looks to be just the chesty. Okay, so one nice thing about these new chesties, this thing looks dirty as hell, you see this? What the? All right, so um, let's see more packaging on it. Get rid of that. Rip a nice unfold here on it. Boom, so there it is, chest mount. So one thing to say about these, uh, the GoPro chest mounts is that the newer ones have this like nice padding on the back right, back right here. It's like, I don't know, probably like a few centimeters thick. You can probably see it. That whole pad right here is actually like a whole, uh, like a whole pad. So it's actually gonna be like more comfortable when it's sitting on your chest rather than the old ones where they just were like hard on the back with just the platform. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, strap on, oh, wait. Wait, I got long arms. I'm gonna have to adjust this super tight right now. But yeah, you just uh, you just click it or take it, you know. It's super tight right now. I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit. But then the GoPro will be mounted on this little bad boy, and then this slides just straight up and into here. So you lift up your little tab, ram it in. Click your tab down, and then you'll just screw your, your GoPro on here, and then... So, that's the chesty mount. Obviously, I'm gonna have to uh, mess with it here in a second, adjust it better and stuff, but so far, obviously, I went with the, the official one for the better quality, and then we have the actual GoPro Hero 6 here. Um, so, let's open that bad boy up. I'm gonna cut it because I ain't got time. All right. Now we're down to the final packaging. All right, so we have the standardized um, packaging for the GoPro, the GoPro Hero 6, basic packaging. It's gonna be the same as the 7, gonna be the same as all the other GoPros pretty much. To open it here, we have a little pull tab at the bottom. Yank that bad boy off, open her up, reach on in, hello. You pull it out and it's all on one little platform. This is just like a nice little packaging. So now we got the GoPro. Boom. So on the side here, we have a little compartment, a little door that opens up. All right, and then just the booklets. I mean, you break it, we'll replace it type of thing. Some GoPro stickers, that's pretty cool. Use those for something maybe. And then we got the underneath here where we have the curved plate, which I don't know if you can see how curved it is, but it's curved. We have a uh, USB-C to Type 3 GoPro charging cable, which I'm probably gonna have to get a new one of these because going from the power pack to the GoPro on here, um, unless I mount it on the back or something. Uh, then we got a battery for the GoPro. Obviously this is a standard Hero 6 battery. And then a flat mount for if you're mounting it to things. And then uh, I wanna say that that's everything. That's pretty much it. It's pretty pretty basic bare bones doesn't come with much um, so yeah let's get this uh, GoPro off of the mount here so you will see that the GoPro is in a little case here so we're gonna unscrew this anyway so you'll see it's in kind of like this little case here you just lift the top like so and then flip it open and then you can uh, remove it from like the back and pop it through on the front like so and that's just like a, uh, a housing which you'll use to mount it to things so you need this to mount it um, and then you've just got the standard GoPro I'm gonna actually grab the camera and bring it closer and then do a more up close kind of uh, shots for you oh, it's a tight fit now we're up close and personal with it and uh, we got the we got the GoPro here uh, I'm gonna actually switch the camera here all right, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go manual focus and then just set the focus. All right, so there's the GoPro, Hero 6. Let's see, standard. Um, does say the Hero 6 on the side. Um, got your little doors and all that kind of jazz. Um, we're gonna go ahead and peel off the back piece. 
and uh, there she blows. This is the standard GoPro. Um, yeah, and then we got the side doors and the top doors. Um, I don't know how to open these. Oh, it just slides off, and then it's got a little waterproof seal. And then, yeah, it just slides on and off, and you should be able to just pull this off, I think. I think it just pulls out. I don't know, I don't need to do it right now, but once I get my mic and stuff and do that kind of setup, then I will. Assuming the battery goes down here. Yep, there's the battery port. I'm sure everyone has seen these before. A million videos have been out for years of these. So I'm not gonna go super into depth with that. Um, gonna grab the battery out here. They might have came in handy for once. So just pop the battery in. Um, every time I put something in, it's always, it's always the wrong way. Yeah, there we go. Pop that battery in, seal it. I guess it's kind of gotta be a hard seal, otherwise it would, uh, would leak water. So we're in the GoPro here. I think the battery's dead because it's been screaming. I think it just died. I don't know what just happened. All right, so GoPro's dead. Perfect, because guess what I have? The perfect solution to a dead GoPro. I'm gonna switch my focus back here. So uh, I got the perfect, uh, perfect solution to a dead GoPro. Just happened to come in the same box. Gonna go ahead and plug this bad boy in and see how it works. USB into, where's the side door on this bad boy? USB. I'm gonna move that side door. It says that the side door just pulls out. I'm confused. I'm gonna look it up before I break it. Much, much, much later. All right, well, now let's go ahead and mount it to the chest. I'm really just trying to figure out the perfect position to set this in so that you get so you get like the pole. I just caught a laundry basket. All right, we got a laundry basket here, boys. Okay, I hooked it. Um, so, so you get the pole and my arms and you get the whole thing. Um, I'm gonna have to probably mess with it a little bit more and uh, see. Let's do a quick stabilization and audio test. So we're open the door. There's. See if we can get the dog on it here. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? What's up, dog? You can't see, you can't really see what I'm doing with my hands when I've been down like that. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? So, as a final conclusion for the GoPro Hero 6, uh, with my few tests that I did, um, this goat, this little metal pack, which I'm actually surprised it's metal, which is actually all right, because it's pretty decent. The, uh, the GoPro chesty is super comfortable, um, and of course, the, uh, the SD card is what it is, it's an SD card. Yeah, so far I'm happy with everything, obviously I haven't used it fishing or anything like that. I'm waiting to be able to get the microphone cord so that I can uh, have high quality audio, but overall everything here is pretty good. I would recommend getting a 6 over a 4 or a 5. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, but you get the mics in four different places, I believe, around it. So you get less wind noise as wind optimization and stuff like that. And overall, the video quality, it's a lot better than the four or the five. And obviously, if you have the money, go out and get the seven. Um, it's probably 100 bucks more than this guy. But um, if you don't have that much money to spend, the six is going to be your best option. So definitely uh, check that out if you're looking. Um, all the links for everything here will be down in the description below. There are affiliate links, and they would help me out a lot if you click them and... If you get anything um be sure to let me know in the comments down below uh yeah so we're gonna try and get some fishing videos i'm gonna go through my tackle and then that's gonna be another video it's gonna go up and be sorting through my tackle and then i'm gonna be organizing my bag for another video and i have boots and i have all kinds of videos coming out so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed if you guys are enjoying the content probably not but <laughs> if you are then go ahead and click that button i'm enjoying making these videos for you guys so uh yeah that's gonna be it uh, i'm gonna go on and get out of here and uh keep playing and uh Make it work.